hello guys welcome back to business daily and in today's video i will be guiding you on how to start a wines and spirit business in kenya as you all know this is one of the most lucrative business idea out there with statistics showing about 13 million kenyans drink daily with each spending about 200 kenya shillings so if you're ready to start a wines and spirit business please subscribe to our channel turn on the post notification bell like and share it will help the channel to grow so much and if you have anything or any inquiries please don't forget to comment down below so for you to start a simple wines and spirit shop or business you will need about 300,000 Kenya shillings that way you will be able to pay rent license room furniture among others if you don't have this amount of money consider applying for a loan then after that number two you need to find a suitable business location and the best place for you to set up this business is to locate or identify a strategically located premise in a busy urban center or anywhere near busy roads with enough human traffic the aim is to increase the visibility of your business and uh, some bonus tips I'd like to give you or I'd like to mention is start your business in a less competitive environment. If your business is close to several other similar businesses, you may not survive the stiff, the stiff competition, especially now that you will be new in the industry. Uh, number two, you need to look for an affordable premise. According to the expert, a wine and spirit business in the country gives an average income of about 40,000 Kenya shillings to 100,000 Kenya shillings per month. Therefore, if your rental cost exceeds 20,000 Kenya shillings, your struggle might run into a loss. In this case, you should look for a premise that does not cost more than 15,000 Kenya shillings. Number three, once you've checked everything, you need to get the right legal documents and here you'll start by registering your business name and then and the good thing about this is that you can do it online by logging into your e-citizen account you apply for the business name and pay the fee of 150 kenyan shillings once you're done registering your business name you'll need to register your business during application so step one is you register your business name then step two you register your business during application you will be required to pay company registration fee of about 11,000 Kenya shillings but if you are registering as a sole proprietor it will cost it will only cost you about 850 Kenya shillings while a partnership will cost you uh, 2,500 Kenya shillings to register your business you'll need to send a signed application form you'll get your business registration or your business registration documents in two to three weeks step four is after registering your business you need to get the liquor license and this is very important or else you won't be able to operate your business the cost for a liquor license in Nairobi is as follows. Number one, the application for a liquor license is 6,000 Kenya shillings. A valid one-year li liquor li license is 50,000 Kenya shillings. And most other business gurus won't mention these kind of things. Then the fifth step is that once you get or you're done with uh, the license the liquor license you need to get your county business permit you can uh, you can get it from the city council be sure to liaise with the city council officers about the cost those officers will come to inspect your premise to see your location and advise you on how you'll pay once you pay you'll be given a receipt and a certificate will follow about a week later county business permit expired expires after one year and you'll have to renew it annually having fulfilled all the legal requirements you'll only have a few steps remaining before you can start operating your wines and spirits business here in kenya uh, 
step, uh, step six, you will need to look for a reliable supplier. You will have to identify a trustworthy and licensed distributor to apply to supply you with the liquor brands in your shop, both in a consistent and timely fashion. As you run your business, ensure you tailor your inventory around the drinks consumed by your patrons and avoid a huge inventory compromising or compromising drinks rarely consumed. This may bring you losses. Keep your stock within the budget of your patrons. Highly expensive drinks may stay for long on shelves, denying you quick profits. Also understand which brands have more profits than which to ensure you have a balanced stock. Lastly, ensure you can provide at least everything, if not all, on your customers' list. Patrons will, ret will return if they know they can find whatever they are looking for in one place. Then lastly, furnish or the last step, you need to furnish your business. This is the final step. After cleaning your business room, furnish it, ensure you have enough shelves, seats, and tables. Remember that a well-furnished room will attract customers. You don't need costly furniture to make your business room appealing. Simple but well arranged furniture, furniture can be a game changer. So from all this, my final say about the, uh, the wines and spirit business in Kenya is that if you have a good strategy and put in the required effort, you can make a good, you can make good money with the wines and spirit business. Just follow the steps outlined in this guide and you should be able to see the profits within the first few months. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any inquiries, again, please do let me know down in the comment section below. I will gladly reply to all of them. And you have, if you have any business that you'd like me to uh, give you information of, please let me know. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.